Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a closer look at the iPad Mini 7, which has been updated with a host of new features. Whether you're a current iPad Mini user or considering your first iPad, there's a lot to discuss. From enhanced performance to some notable downsides, let's dive into what the iPad Mini 7 has to offer. The iPad Mini 7 comes with several exciting upgrades. First, it boasts doubled storage capacity and RAM, providing more space and better performance for all your apps and files. The newest 7 Pro chip is another significant enhancement, promising faster processing speeds and improved efficiency. Additionally, the iPad Mini 7 features faster Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, ensuring quicker and more reliable connectivity. Apple has also upgraded the Neural Engine and added support for Apple Intelligence, which enhances various functionalities, including photo and video editing. Speaking of photos, the iPad Mini 7 now supports Smart HDR4, allowing for better quality images. The new color options add a fresh look to the device, and there's a potential fix for the jelly scrolling issue that some users experience with the iPad Mini 6. While the iPad Mini 7 brings many exciting upgrades, it also has a few downsides worth mentioning. One significant drawback is the lack of support for the Apple Pencil 2. This limitation might be disappointing for artists and note-takers who rely on the advanced features of the Apple Pencil 2 for their work. Additionally, the iPad Mini 7 does not have proper keyboard case support with the smart connector, which could be a deal breaker for those who need a more integrated typing experience. The absence of a nano SIM card tray means that users are limited to using eSIM technology for cellular connectivity. This shift has its advantages, such as the ability to activate a mobile plan without needing a physical SIM card, making it convenient for international travelers or those who want to switch carriers without waiting for a new Samsung IM to arrive. ESIM also allows users to have multiple cellular plans on one device, which can be beneficial for people managing personal and work lines or using different carriers for better coverage. However, this change can be inconvenient for users who prefer the traditional physical SIM card, especially in regions or situations where ESIM support is limited or unavailable. Some carriers, particularly in developing markets, may not offer ESIM services, leaving customers with fewer options. Additionally, for users who regularly swap SIM cards between devices or rely on a backup SIM for emergencies, the absence of a nano SIM trade could present challenges. For those who travel frequently and switch to local carriers for cost-effective data plans, physical SIM cards are often the easiest solution and relying on ESIM might complicate that process. Although the technology is growing in popularity, the lack of a physical SIM option could frustrate users who are accustomed to the flexibility and convenience that comes with using traditional SIM cards. In summary, the iPad Mini 7 is a great upgrade for those who already own an iPad Mini 6. The doubled storage and RAM newest 7 Pro chip Faster connectivity and enhanced photo capabilities make it a compelling choice. However, the lack of support for the Apple Pencil 2, proper keyboard case support, and nano SIM card tray aren't notable downsides. If you're considering your first iPad, you might want to explore other models like the iPad Pro or iPad Air, which offer more comprehensive features. To wrap things up, the iPad Mini 7 offers a mix of exciting new features and some limitations. Whether it's the right choice for you depends on your specific needs and preferences. Stay tuned for more updates and in-depth reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching.